Hello, welcome to Common Sense Outdoors. Many of us that have survival kits contain a survival fishing aspect in those kits. When we're talking about a survival fishing kit, oftentimes it's hook, sinkers, fishing line. Now, if I was to go out into the woods in, say, August, it would be quite easy for me probably to find a grasshopper, a worm, any kind of insect that I could use as bait along with that, those hooks and sinkers and fishing line. Now as easy as that might sound, it's not always the case. If the ground is frozen, if there's a layer of snow and everything, it's not always as easy as you might think to find some kind of a bug to use as bait in that situation. So I've talked about the importance of the slightest amount of knowledge on how to, how to make a fly, how to tie a fly for an emergency situation to be able to create a bait that will catch you a fish. Now, before I, when I did that, I actually showed that it is possible to hold your hook in one hand and your thread or your uh, string in the other hand and wrap around that material and create the fly just using your hands. Anybody that has ever tied a fly or knows anything about fly tying knows that a fly tying vise is way, way easier than tying by hand without this vise. Simple clamps onto a table, bench, whatever, and it has a set of jaws with a locking lever. You just put your hook in there lock down the lever so that it holds your hook so that you can tie your fly without the hook moving giving you hands free two hands to be able to tie your fly some of you may know that if you have a multi-tool especially one with locking jaws you could simply use that to hold your hook now the thing about this, even if you have locking jaws on a multi-tool or say vice grips, the thing about this is, is yes that holds my hook, but I still have to hold the tool unless I have another way to attach this tool to something solid to give me my second hand free. So that either requires lashing it to something or a second set of locking pliers to clamp it to something. What I want to do today is show you a really simple way to make a fly tying vise in the bush. So stick with me, let me find somewhere that's going to work with the camera and get you a decent shot and uh, show you how easy this is. Okay guys, so I found something here I think is going to work with being able to get the camera in the right position and all that good stuff to be able to show you. All we have here is a small madrone sapling baby um, and remember all we're trying to recreate or manufacture is a pair of jaws a self-supporting pair of jaws that open and close to create a fly vise so if we take and clear some of this stuff out of the way I'm going to cut it off right here. And let me reposition the camera and we'll show you where we go from there. Okay guys, so in this instance, we're straight up and down with our sapling or a young tree. It does not have to be a small tree like this, a small branch, any anywhere you have a branch sticking out off a tree, you could just use this branch. Now this is a madrone with a nice soft 
uh, or smooth skin bark. So like Madrones or Manzanita is going to be great for this. Any uh, evergreens or most of your hardwood trees other than the Madrone and Manzanita are going to have a coarse bark. So if you have a branch you can still use say a pine branch on a pine tree but you're going to have to remove the branch or the bark off of that top section or that end section of that piece of branch whether that's a straight up and down piece or a branch coming off you're going to have to remove the bark off of a few inches of it. So once we've got to that point so I want to split this stick Now I do have a couple little bumps on this. I'm going to just trim those off. And I could go ahead and take the bark completely off if I wanted to, but it's not needed with a smooth bark like this Madrone. peeling off if I hang up on it or something. Okay, so now we have a pair of jaws that open. And that's kind of the wrong angle from where you're at right now, but you see it's split. I have a pair of jaws. So I have a way to be able to put my hook in there. What we need to be able to do is have a way for those jaws to be held shut to hold our hook. So all we're going to do is take some cordage. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible just by giving it a few wraps. And then I'm going to tie it in a square knot. That should do. Let's give us a few wraps around that branch that we can slide up and down. Okay, just to right there even has already got that pretty tight and we can slide it down just a little bit, just enough to be able to put our hook in, slide it back up. Should hold the hook there. So let me get to a hook. Okay guys, so give you a little different angle here. As you can see, if we slide down our wraps, our cordage wraps, we can spread, slide it down just a hair more. We can spread our jaws enough. Well, you can see that. Enough to be able to put a hook in there. So if we take our hook, put it in there just where the the bar where the hook is inside and then we can actually slide our portage back up but now we have something that holds our hook so we're hands free we've created a fly tying vise like that guys all right as always thank you for watching thank you for your likes views comments and support we'll see you in the next video